for the losers of the day, we have pickled habanero garlic, pickled quail eggs, and then we have the old Beach Cliff sardines. A mixture of the three on top of a Lay's classic potato chip. Should be a nice combo. Dude, I do not want to be eating whatever they picked out for bubble dough. <laughs> They've never cooked this egg. Oh, nice. <laughs> It's a Guggen State cook-off. Yes! We are here at the Bucky's. <laughs> Where all great things start. Um, I'm the judge of a steak cooking competition today. You boys ready to cook up some delicious steaks? Ah, yep. yes. You know, I don't know if you guys know this. 94, 95, back-to-back, two-time, all-region steak cooking champ. No kidding. Man, yeah, yeah. Nice. you're five-year-old really? you're busting out the champion. You know the deal. Okay, I'm going to be looking for big things. Okay. Out of yak here. Yeah. What do you guys got? I mean, I'm, I'm a little nervous. Norm, tell me about your cooking. Uh... <sighs> Man, I cook a good bowl of cereal, uh, toaster strudels. Ooh. That's pretty much my repertoire. Okay. I, uh, I just eat a lot of food, putting on the pounds. Never cooked before. Okay. Especially okay. meat. How about you, Mike? So, are, you a, well, are you a chef? In college, I watched a lot of Food Network. Iron Chef, some chops. I'm gonna try to apply some of, that, some of those techniques so uh, to this challenge right now. All right, okay. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys one tip about my taste buds, how I like my my steaks. I like the steak to speak to me. Okay. So you like the meat to speak to you? I so you like the meat to speak to me. Rare. Okay. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna let you just go off that. Now, I will be <laughs> picking a punishment as well. Ooh. Okay. Something in here that you guys have to devour and uh, you just use your imagination. We're going into one of the world's biggest gas stations. Lots of stuff in there. Could get pretty nasty. Let's get some steaks and good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Well. <laughs> okay. Gas so, station ribeyes. Gas sta Nothing beats old Bucky's gas station ribeye. I just, I googled what it meant for a steak to speak to me. Nothing came up, so. Yeah, I'm lost. I've been trying to ask him, does he like it fatty? Does he like it lean? He won't give me anything. Let me just say this. If you like a lean steak, I'm not so sure I can be friends with you. Nah, I'll, I'll take that. I kind of agree with that. People that eat like filet mignon and stuff. Yeah, I'm not. I where's cannot that do, I about to say, I cannot do filet. Filet has no flavor to me. Yeah, no, the, fat, the fat holds the flavor. Ribeye, it's got to be a ribeye. I think this is a perfect amount of, of fat, right? So I was looking in there, we got all that, and that fat just really just, just holds that flavor in. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Which we're not going to have long to like marinate it, so that fat no, will it's grab good. that yeah. marinade oh, quick. Yeah. yeah, it'll be good. $16, one pound, ribeye certified Angus beef. That's what they used to call me in high school, old Angus beef. <laughs> all right, we got our steak. Oh, you like the team again. chemistry is on point. We are in luck, my friend. We have CAB ribeyes right here. Check what does that out. mean? Check what does out. CAB mean? Certified Angus, Angus beef. beef. Yes, sir. I do. Oh, this is good. No, this one's it. This is it. This is going to be up I'll pick the steak. So I'm going to let you handle the, uh, the seasoning. I might just go with the one called oh, steak seasoning. I don't know if Rackley likes hot stuff or not. He took the chip pretty good. Yeah, he did take the chip pretty good. Yeah. I, think, I don't know. You, you can't beat a good steak seasoning. So yeah, we're just gonna go with that. Yeah. <laughs> Norm, we gotta find some spices here. We don't want to go something. We want to go something that's kind of low key. We don't want to muddle the flavor of our beautiful cut. Agreed. Ribeye right here. So. I found it. I got. It. I got it. I'm going with this guy. Cosmos dry rub. It's gonna need a little just sea salt, pepper, garlic, a little sugar, a little bit of spices. Not much, not much going on here. It's a big secret. There. I've got something working here. Got something chosen. First off, pickled quail eggs. Some might consider this a treat. It's kind of weird though. Then we've got garlic, pickled garlic. Look at the top here, see that orange thing? That's one of the hottest peppers right there. That's a habanero. And that thing lights you up. So, I'm thinking a combo, 
combo bite. And uh, maybe one more thing to add to this to make it a little strange, a little weird, but that's gonna be a doozy right there. So guys, if we get Rackley just a little bit buzzed off of some red wine, and then we get him a ton of other things besides the steak, he might forget about the steak and be so overrun with everything else that will win. And I think I see something that goes well with steak normally. Doubt it. I thought this was green beans. Because you know, it's like <laughs> yeah. green beans, mashed potatoes, and steak. But it's hey. dried okra. But this, yeah. should we try it? Just try it. Let's try it, bro. I hope this doesn't make us lose because this was last second. <laughs> but I just want to rack you everything besides our steak that's already pre-made. You know, that's how you win these things. We're here to win. I'm feeling pretty good. Let's go to the kitchen. We got these ingredients. We're about to start cooking. And check out that summer merch if you haven't already because it is hot and toasty. Want to stay cool? Got SPF protection and look delicious at the same time. Check it out at GugginSquad.com. Use your favorite pro uh, promo code from your creator to save 10% off. Get the threads while they last. Gentlemen, we're here in the Guget HQ kitchen now. You're going to have 30 minutes to cook this steak, and then it's time to eat it. You will be judged, and then you're going to be served something interesting. Let's, let's just say. You have the option of the grill, or you have the kitchen at your disposal. Do you have your ingredients? Yes. Yes, we do. Let the yep. competition begin now. Okay. Where's our steaks at? I don't know. Hey. <laughs> Where's our steaks at? <laughs> We chose we that one special. All right, so it was marble. It was marble. Where's our steak? They hit our steak. They 100% hit our steak. Or is it still in the vehicle? Gotta be a bucket bag, right? <laughs> they hit our steak. You think so, for sure? <laughs> These goons hit our steak in the car. It's okay, though. Now we've got one. Oh? One? What is this? What are these numbers for? <laughs> I have no. What? Bro, turn it all the way up. Okay, I, I gotta see. What, I gotta see what max is. I, I gotta pick. Okay, this. Okay, high is ten. We need medium. So five. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. I want a quick steer. We're gonna go five point five. Five point five. This is a cast iron. What do you know about cast iron? Um, I know about uh, casting is like what you would do with a fishing reel. Yes, yes. And then yes. iron is like what I lift in the gym. So when you put them together, cast iron. Yes. Okay, this is a tool, valuable tool used for cooking. Very heavy, feel it, feel how heavy that is. Dude. Yeah, it's heavy, <laughs> it's heavy. Oh, it's on too, that's yeah, awesome, I just put my hand right there. No, you good, yeah. Cool. The beauty of it is that it can hold a lot of heat, this will allow us to cook the steak perfectly evenly once we get it preheated enough. You've never cooked a steak before, right? I've never cooked steak, but like I said, I've watched a lot of Food Network in college, so I'm gonna use what I've learned one of the few things I learned in school, and uh, we're gonna try to cook a uh, nice steak. In fact, you have the most, first and most important job. I need you to open this up. Okay. Use paper towels and pat it as dry as possible. Get all, pat it dry, bro. Okay? Yeah. Gotta give the meat a good Any feed. Any kind of cooking oil like that. I thought avocado was kind of snap myself. Let me see what we're dealing with here. I, I don't, I've actually never tasted this, and so let me see. Oh, that's mm. a lot. It's heavy on pepper yeah. mm. and garlic. Nice, yeah. So, you always want to beat your whoa. Like, nice, nice. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna season both sides, right? But I, I'm gonna need you to rub soft. it in. Alright. Get all flipped. You apply I rub. Yeah. We might should just go to a different location, right? You think so? There you go. There you go. Um, um, does it need to be a certain temperature before we put it on? Yeah, you want the oil to reach the right heat. I don't know the exact heat, so we got level 5.5. I'm, I'm yeah. kind of waiting right. just to see a little bit of smoke from the oil. We're gonna see it quick, man. Two minutes on each side, perfect medium rare. He's gonna love it. He's gonna love it. Do we sear first or do we sear after? Because I've seen Food Network too, and I've seen where they hold the edges down at the end after it's already cooked. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Okay. We're doing, we're doing the cap at the very end. Yes. Gotcha. Right. Yeah. So I've found out over the years of cooking steak. Um, Which one are you doing? This one. Just keep it simple, man. Yeah. Yeah. So I used to over season my steaks like big time. Now just. Uh, yeah, simple, that? super simple. A little Himalayan yeah, salt, pepper, uh, some butter, and some uh, some oh, olive oil. Do I gotta, like, so. You always want to beat your meat oh. like, really nice, nice and, right, and slow. Both sides, right? but not too I'm hard, not too to salt. Cosmos dry rub SPGs are got from Bucky. Destroy. Okay, 
Rule number one, when you lay a steak on the grill, you always lay away from you. You put it on there and you do not, you'll, I say you do not, you don't touch it until you're ready to flip it. You got a timer, Ayo? On your phone? Yeah, got you. How long? Uh, yeah, do five. Yeah. He likes his medium rare. Yep, five minutes on the clock. It's five minutes, we'll flip it. You're not supposed to cut your steak as you're cooking, right? You don't want to cut it open. I feel like it ruins it. I've always heard not to do that. But for the sake of this video and wanting to win and not eat whatever he picked for us at the gas station, because mm. that was a big gas station. There's a lot of nasty stuff to pick. And it's Texas, so. And it's like, Texas, so you never know what you're going to get. Eat everything around here, you know? Yeah, they, they be, I'll be getting wild in Texas, so. We're going to cut it open a little bit to make sure it's at least medium rare. Norm, would you like to do the honors? Put that meat straight in there. Yeah! Oh, perfect! <laughs> oh, perfect meat flip. For that size, it's about one inch thick. You know what I'm thinking? Two minutes, 15 seconds. Each guy. Two minutes, 15, 15 seconds. Exactly. Wow. Down to the science. So, now uh, the key is, we don't want to touch it. You don't want to irritate the steak. You want to leave it just like that and let it form a crust. Okay. And when the crust is ready, flip it, it'll come right out, get the other side. I, I can't believe Mike's never cooked a steak. <laughs> <laughs> well, both of you. Both of you? Yeah. We, we, I've never cooked meat, period. <laughs> but we watched a three minute YouTube tutorial. This is pretty unreal because you guys are doing basically everything I would do. <laughs> really? Yes, style? Yeah, you're doing everything right. I like the sound of that. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Dude. I do not want to be eating whatever they picked out about Whatever we have to eat. I just don't want to eat it because I've ate everything this Google week so far and I'd love to just have one video where I don't lose. I think we got a little fear. Definitely not releasing as easily as I'd hoped. Uh oh. Uh -oh. We might have made a boo boo right there, bro. Might <laughs> have made a little boo boo right there. Are we right supposed there. to add more stuff to the pan? Like no, not yet, anything? not yet. That's no, later? that's at the end. You know, we gotta flip it though. I think it's time to flip. We don't wanna overcook right, this thing. I don't, I don't wanna see it. I'm gonna we don't wanna over it. Guys, I don't wanna see if they messed up or not. I'm gonna go see how the boys on the grill are doing. Alright, you ready? Let's go. Let's go, baby. Come on. Come on. Boom! Dude, that's oh. looking, I think that looks good. You know, Maybe we need more sear? Yeah, it's lacking a little sear, but you know what? We're gonna have to do the uh, the old one two, flip floppity flip. See if this side's super good, we'll try to turn the heat up just a teeny bit, and then we'll go back. We're gonna go back. I'm gonna reset the timer just so yeah, we yeah, know. Yeah, 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 reset it. Let's go three oh. minutes. Yeah. Let's go three minutes on this side. Okay, Maybe yeah. we needed just a little more heat to get, uh, to get a better sear, but you know. First time. Not bad for a first day. <laughs> Hopefully, we gotta taste it. We'll see. We'll see. 13 minutes left on the clock. You guys are probably well, you know, get close. I'd imagine you got a pr you got a probe. They have a probe. The other guys do not. So um, I'm just gonna say they, had, they might have had a little fumble in there. I have a fumble. They might have had a little fumble. We'll see. <laughs> okay. And this is what I'm whipping up. For the losers of the day, we have some pickled habanero garlic. Hmm. That'll clear out the sinuses. We have pickled quail eggs. Mm. That could be tasty, depending on what your preferences are. But some people might puke on the texture. And then we have the old Beach Cliff sardines. A mixture of the three on top of a Lay's Classic potato chip. Should be a nice combo. So we have 11 minutes and 10 seconds left. I usually, after I get done cooking my steaks, I usually like to, I'll, I'll throw some butter on them, a little bit more seasoning, wrap them in tin foil and let them sit for 10 minutes. The steak is 121, 122 degrees right now, internal temp. I wanna get that up to like, I wanna get it up like 130, 135, and then we'll do that. So with 10 minutes and 45 seconds left, I just crank the temperature up as high as I can get it. I'm gonna let it sit for about a minute and a half flip it another minute and a half, then do all the other stuff that I just said. Butter, uh, seasoning, tin full, let it sit. When the timer ends on the competition, have it cut open, and he'll take a bite, and uh, we're gonna take the dough. Feels like good Ready? sear. Come on! Oh no! Fight! Don't do that! Woo! Bam! Yes, yes sir! <laughs> yes sir, hot oil on my skin. All right, now we're gonna melt it up a little bit here. We can get that steak all up in that butter. All the top, 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 top,
I scooped nothing that time. No, that's oh, 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 cast iron on my oh, finger. Oh, shit. It's uh, hot. No. Oh, dude, what are you doing? Dude, stop it. I need a plate. Our steak is burning. Dude, stop. I don't want to eat a sardine. Dude, save it for the bedroom, man. Oh, we've got steaks to cook. Just got a stick of butter from the opposing team. I think this was already at the HQ though, so it's not really like stealing ingredients or anything. Oh, okay, I thought they just dropped a steak. I heard some O's and O's. I don't think Hack knows quite what he's doing. It's more like a dictatorship than a democracy. Don't mean to be that guy, but I had some ideas. You know what I'm saying? I don't like to cook my steak further. What's up, man? Oh, hey, can you uh, grab me a... Butter? Yes, I need butter, and can you grab me uh, one of the beverages, the ice cold ones from the cooler? Yeah, dude, I got From you. the bottom, though, because the top ones are kind of warm. Yeah. Hey, yo, we definitely will also need the, uh, the seasoning. Thank you, sir. Yes, I got a seasoning. I'll be back. Meat, all that's, I'm not going to lie, guys. This is looking really good. This is looking delicious. Set it right there. Perfect. Is there any spicy seasoning up here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. In there. I am not taking my eyes off this meat. You never know when A or Yak might try to come here and mess with us. Now, they don't know it, but Norm has a little surprise for them. Let's go, Norm. Yeah, Hot, dirty bird. If this gets on their steak, we instantly win. It's come down to sabotage. I'll be back, boys. Keep an eye on our steak, because I don't trust A.O. anywhere around us. I'll be back. Did you ever learn that growing up? If you put oh, barbecue sauce oh, yeah. or, or anyone on the steak that somebody else cooked, what? Dude, stop! Ow! I got in an accident. I was hurt by that. Dude. <laughs> oh, dude! Oh, 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 I wait. Wait. Wrap it up, dude. No, 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 no. <laughs> we got a plane ride. I'm not eating. <laughs> He's got extra spicy seasoning yet. <laughs> Cover the steak with the tin foil. <laughs> oh, oh, my foot! <laughs> oh, if you put that on there, I'm throwing your Yeezys in the oh, toilet. Is that a mild concussion? <laughs> I'm taking my pants off, dude. It's the wrong channel for that. Spread eagle. <laughs> you got it covered? You got wrapped? Good. All right, we're good. It's covered. Uh, You're close, man. But it's gonna well, I have to eat the sardine. At least I can say I tried. We gave her all. Oh, yeah. Your steak looked pretty bad, anyways. I was just joking. Yeah, yeah I was just joking, right, too. We're gonna win. <sighs> How's the workout? Wow. Ten, six, five, four, three, two, two. One, darn, steak off, steak off. Man, that noise gives me chills, dude. <laughs> yeah, who are you telling? I don't know how to stop it. <laughs> okay. Gentlemen, uh, present your meat. Wait, the gold always goes great. Oh, I this like day. it. Not, not, not Bro, get him a gold, man. Get him a gold, come on. And the steak. Gold is that. That's what I said, man. That's kind of rough. This is beautiful right here. This is like, reminds me of deer camp. Paper plate, good cold beer, you know, steak. Right. Love to see it. Got a little bit more um, Chef Rackley, over here. Chef Norm and myself have prepared for you a pan seared ribeye basted with the world's finest butter. Wow. With some dried okra and what the hell is this? Red wine. <laughs> to go with your meal. <laughs> Enjoy. It smells like uh, great popsicles. I mean, a, it has, like suds. It has <laughs> suds. It's a uh, oh, it's a sweet red wine. <laughs> Courtesy of Bucky's. Okay. Courtesy of Bucky's. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try yours first. That's like grape soda. Is that alcoholic? I don't think so. <laughs> it might, it might got grape soda. I got the virgin. I just alcohol? saw it said red on it. Is there <laughs> Yeah, 5.5% chef. You're about to get posted, my friend. Dude, I can't taste anything on that. 
that's a that's a girl that's night a, that's out. A right that's a dangerous. That's a girl's night out. <laughs> <laughs> Sound me. All right, I guess I'll uh, taste your uh, okra here. <laughs> oh, Come on, give me something good. I mean, a for effort, but like. It was just for color. You weren't supposed to eat it. I probably should have told you that. Okay. Both of you guys' steaks look cooked very well. So let's see. Let's take a look at the color. Wow, it's cooked perfectly. Yes. Good job, boys. Perfect. That's a 10 out of 10. You know what perfect means? A 1 out of 10 on YouTube. That's cooked perfectly. Perfect. You've never put the. Cooked a steak before and he cooked I it have, perfectly. I've never cooked a steak and I didn't even know how much time. I, we just guessed it. <laughs> yeah. Hey. That's a damn good guess. Sometimes that, the baby's lucky to wow, good. Let's that go, is restaurant quality. And I think the meat is going to just speak for itself here, but let's see on the flavor. Still on. <laughs> <laughs> I think mean, he's liking it. I don't know. That's a solid. Oh, he's smiling. Oh, he's smiling. Like he's smiling. He's smiling. He's smiling. He's smiling. Okay, that's a good steak. Okay. He's lost for words. The meat is speaking and he's smiling. The meat is speaking. The meat is speaking. Why are you laughing? The meat is speaking. Why are you laughing? They've never cooked a steak. Oh, is that good? Oh, God. Brought tears to his eyes, man. Wow. Your water is buttery. Use Cosmo SPG, which is one of my favorite seasonings. We don't have it. Good job. On a 1 to 10, what would you give it? Like a six, 8.4. 8.4! Oh, oh, we'll take it. Oh, Lord. Have mercy. We'll take it. These are 8.4, baby. This is going to be our drink. I'd much rather drink a sugary female drink. Just put that out there. <laughs> <laughs> that tastes like camp right there. I like, I like that more than the drink. You're sure. a great camp guy. Yeah, yeah, great. Great. Yeah, great. Yeah, he doesn't like camp. It's like camp. Yeah. It's cooked perfectly. Oh, oh no. Another perfectly cooked. You guys did amazing. Beautiful. You guys pulled it off. It was at 135. Yeah, 135. Well, it was like, yeah, it was. Perfect. Oh, dear gosh. Oh, look at it just falling apart. Let's not. Have I know it is. It is falling apart. It's it's juicy. Like I get a little juice. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Just add the juice. We bring in other yeah, judges as well. It's going to be hard to tell that they lost. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been so nervous in my life, bro. Oh. I've never been so nervous. I don't want to eat whatever is in those jars right there. This is a little bit too close for my life. Oh, uh, yeah. That was too damn. We should have said something a little different. Double, double different. damn. All right, here's what we're going to have to do. If it was democracy, we wouldn't be eating vinegar eggs, right but I think we're going quail eggs. I mean, if it's just me, if I'm judging off those two sections of steak, great things about both, little flavor differences, smoky. Um, better peppering over here, better seasoning, a little too salty on the outside, might have hit a bad patch, but that's center right there. Smell it. Mm. <laughs> I gotta give it to you guys. I told you guys oh, from boy. the get. Now we, we are the best team. Look, no, democracy is key. Undefeated! I'm so proud of you, yet. I knew you were doing it the whole time. I, was, I, I literally, yeah, stuff. you were grilling, I was like, dude, yeah, he knows what he's doing. I'm just saying, I, do I want to toot my own horn. 94.95, so all region, steak cooking champ. I didn't say this for no reason. And now, I believe in you the whole time. I believe in you the whole time. I never, the whole solid time. Team solid yep. team man. Yep. Dude, I love that. <laughs> there you go. Are we going same time, Norm? Or yeah, we'll, yeah, you might as well. We'll go yeah, same time. Yeah. Right. Just gonna hold it, hold the egg there. I cut off this last week, but did that same thing over there. That's crazy. It's <laughs> awesome. There you go. Oh, looks like my poop right there now. There you go. Oh, That's a good bro, combo. Bro. Good combo. That that little pepper will. Oh wow. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Cover it up. That's bad. <laughs> oh come on. Got this. Uh, Could we, so like, wouldn't it have been fair to eat one of these disgusting items? I don't know. Combo. You gave me a combo. You gave me. You gave you a okra. delicious combo. <laughs> you like okra? That's delicious. I ate the egg. I just ate the oh, egg. Oh, eat the sardine too then. I, no, I didn't lose. <laughs> I didn't lose. <laughs> 10, 10, 9, 8, man. 7, really? 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Eat it. There you go.
through your nose as much as possible. Oh! Do what? Nope. combination of Soul flavors <laughs> that I've ever eaten. Hands down. Oh god. What you want, dude? I actually it? about threw up like yeah, if I didn't spit out of my mouth I would have projectiled all the chocolate milk from yesterday. I'd rather eat ten one chip hot chip challenges than do that ever again. If you guys don't hit the thumbs up yeah. for that, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what. I don't know what else to do. That was disgusting. Shouts to these boys for eating yeah. that because that yeah. was. It was a fun was last rough. Guggen week. S some yeah. lesser men <laughs> would have not. You guys, you guys did good. Thank you for tuning in for uh, another cooking episode here at the Guggen Squad, and um, you know, let us know what you'd like to see next down in the comments. Don't forget to check out the delicious merch at GuggenSquad.com and use your favorite. Creator's code to save 10% off. We'll see you on the next Google Squad episode.